I want to talk some Rick Dyer with you. Um, there seems to be a lot of confusion in people's minds, and I just need to uh, act like a wall, act like a rail for people so I can get them to keep moving forward on to the truth, to distinguish what is real and what is not real. And let me just start out by saying this. Rick Dyer shot a Bigfoot on September 6, 2012, as documented in the Shooting Bigfoot documentary. It's on tape. It's clear as fucking the sun in the sky, but you people are fucking blinded and cannot even get a glimpse of what the truth actually is because there's so much slander against the man. Plus, he's, he's like the boy who cried wolf, okay, and he, he's, he's ruining it for himself. But you see, the boy who cried wolf, if you understand that parable, for all the times that, that he's lying and that he says something and it doesn't actually happen, eventually... It actually does happen to him, and he's ruined his reputation uh, prior to even experiencing the event, okay? Because he's he's been crying wolf and because he's been hoaxing. Now, let me just go, go back in time a little bit before 2012, because <clears throat> now initially, Rick Dyer came onto the scene because he and another uh, friend of his, whoever this guy was, they were on CNN. They had a press conference on CNN saying that they found a Bigfoot in Georgia. And they claimed that they were out in the, the woods, you know, an hour or two off the trail, whatever it was. They they come across the Sasquatch that's dead. They say that they uh, one of them stayed with the body while the other one went to get a truck. I mean, have you seen this fucking footage to judge for yourself? Because if not, I'm telling you right now, if you have an opinion on this and you haven't seen this footage, you're ill-informed, you're under-informed, and you're fucking probably a fucking moron and don't even know how to do complete detective work. So he's, he, they have this press conference. You think you can make a CNN press conference just fucking happen with a fucking lie? Probably not. Okay? So he's out there and they say, we got this Bigfoot body. And they show pictures of it and it's on ice, okay? And then all of a sudden they show pictures of it again after they say it's a hoax. And the pictures are completely different from what they originally show. And it looks like this fucking dummy with, with the fucking tongue sticking out. I'm sure if you got any fucking brains and you've done any fucking investigating into this, you've seen this and you've had to, you know, question yourself, is this real or is this not real? So I'm not even going to make a judgment on that. Maybe it was a hoax. Maybe it was real. Maybe he was hoaxing back then. Or maybe we really do have a government cover up a Bigfoot. Have you even considered this? This is not a two-dimensional looking at a piece of paper and seeing the whole thing. You need to get around this. You need to look at this issue from all angles, okay? Because we know from listening to the Sasquatch Chronicles podcast, which we, we listen to if we are real fans of the Sasquatch experience, that people are being approached by government agents from the, the Bureau, of an, uh, Bureau of the Interior. What is, is that what it is? And they're, they're being told to hush up, that they didn't see what they saw, that they didn't see a Bigfoot. So we know there's a cover-up. We got law enforcement down in Texas, I think it was, one of these guys that appeared on Wes Germer's show, talking about how he dealt with these guys. He pulls them over. He's talked to them. He's talked to them in, the own, in their own police precinct when these guys are down there trying to cover up these instances of citizens seeing Bigfoot, okay? So you need to consider this when you're talking about Rick Dyer and the cover-up of Bigfoot, and you need to ask, why is this man? driving around a fucking complete stupid fake looking dummy trying to charge dummies and idiots money to fucking see this thing when we have the video of him shooting one on September 6th 2012 in the shooting Bigfoot video and not only do we have that we have corroborating evidence of the homeless people and also somebody in a vehicle reporting that of seeing the Sasquatch behind the Home Depot in San Antonio Texas which is the whole reason that Rick Dyer went down there looking for it in that specific location in the fucking first place okay so then he's got this fucking reputation of being a world-renowned hoaxer and Morgan Matthews of Great Britain is coming to America to make a documentary, more like a mockumentary, to make fun of this Bigfoot phenomenon. And all of a sudden, what happens? After Rick Dyer convinces them to go to San Antonio, Texas, Rick Dyer shoots the camper video where he's in the tent where he's got a rifle right on the ground you can see it he looks out the thing with his camera when he when he nailed the ribs to the tree and the sasquatch is looking at eating the ribs turns and looks at him goes back to the ribs turns back looks at him again 
That's fucking real footage. Jack Anderson, Jeff Barnes channel has deemed this real. I've deemed this real. Look at it for yourself and decide whether it's real. That's not a fucking hoax. That's a real Sasquatch in this fucking video, idiots. Okay? And if you already know that, then you're on the same page with me. But yeah, the guy is driving around a hoax. Now here's what you gotta do. You need to listen to everything. Okay? You listen to the Muskie Allen interview. Who is Muskie Allen? He was the biggest critic of Rick Dyer. He was coming out vocally and, and on the internet and coming out against Rick Dyer until what happened? He was invited to Las Vegas to see the, propo the supposed body that Rick Dyer shot. And then he changed his complete opinion about the situation. Now, I'm sure Muskie Allen thinks that the 2014 fucking stuffed dummy, whatever Rick Dyer's driving around now, is a fucking hoax, because it is, okay? But listen to the interview that Rick Dyer gives um, on the Jack, Jack Anderson, Jeff Barnes channel, I believe that's what it is. Um, it's an hour long, talking about his experiences when they shot this thing in San Antonio. He doesn't show one instance of lying. He doesn't show any telltale signs of telling lies. If you're a police investigator, if you're a detective, if you're intelligent enough to analyze human physiology and human psychology and know when someone is telling the truth or when someone is lying, you can watch it for yourself if you're qualified enough to even make judgment on it and understand this man is actually telling the truth about the events that happened of September 6th, 2012 when he shoots a Sasquatch, which is caught on fucking camera. Blatant right there. The fucking thing is like my fucking face in the camera. You can see it. Swing at Morgan Matthews. The camera falls down after Rick takes a blast at this thing. This is just factual. Okay? There's a complete cover-up of this. Rick Dyer's out there camping with these homeless people. There's a whole series of videos I've watched about this guy out there doing the follow-up to this deal. And then, you know, the guys are talking about it. And then the homeless guy's saying, oh, no. You know, oh, no. Nothing happened. Blah, blah, blah. Well, the guy who's saying that's a fucking tweaker. Look at him. He's fucking a methamphetamines user. Just use your fucking brain and put that fucking outline on him and it fits him fucking perfectly, okay? These people are liars. They're being deceived. Someone could have even paid this little homeless, backwoods fucking Home Depot living tweaker to fucking lie for $20 on tape, okay? Just realize how easy it is to cover this shit up, especially when Dyer is driving around fake bodies to boot. Now, in that interview, which he gives on the Jack Anderson, Jeff Barnes channel, he alludes to, well, you know, when I... I dropped this body off in Las Vegas, which we, we rented a refrigeration truck for 30, 40 days. We drove it to Las Vegas. We went to the university. We, we had investors. We're talking to these guys. We got the body on ice. Rick Dyer says, I'm the only one that's allowed to see it. I didn't sleep for days. I was so paranoid. I'm going back to the place every day to check on the body, making sure nobody takes it, making sure the government doesn't take it. That's what he says. He's making sure the government isn't in there taking his body. Why would he say that? And then he doesn't really allude to a whole lot more about that. And you got to presume, hmm, maybe this man has had some type of contact with the, with the Bureau of the Interior. Maybe he's had some type of contact with some governmental agency telling him, hey, dude, keep this on the hush. You're not allowed to talk about this. This is a matter of national security. You need to understand these things. Let me bring something else to your attention that you most likely do not understand, okay? When it comes to these government friggin' people approaching you after they passed the Patriot Act in 2001 when the CIA or the FBI selected you to work for them and they approached you and said, hey, we want you to be on the payroll and be one of our double agents. Yeah, maintain your public persona and be who you are to the public, but secretly you're taking uh, our orders and you're going to be talking our talking points and you're not going to be discussing what we don't want you to talk about. If those people even came out and said that the FBI or the CIA approached them, they would be put into prison and fined a million dollars, okay? This is a kind of threat that people are being approached with. So they can't come out and just say, oh, I was approached by the Department of the Interior and told not to talk about this. You know what that means? <coughs> fucking noose around your neck. You're imprisoned. You know what's going to happen? The TV is going to fucking have a fucking, uh, a, a fucking news briefing and talking points all about you. They're going to be slandering you on the television. 
and on the fucking mainstream media, they'll probably say that they found child porn on your fucking web, on your fucking uh, computer or something. Okay, you understand how deep this shit fucking goes? Do you even know what they can do to ruin lives? Look at Bradley Manning. He he leaked that footage to WikiLeaks of the fucking reporters with the cameras being shot down by the uh, helicopters and then the peop their family members came in and tried to scoop up the bodies. Then those people were shot down with the fucking helicopters, bullets, and then, I mean, massive fucking murder over in Iraq. He released this footage. You know what happened to Bradley Manning? Now he's in the fucking Presidio claiming that he has a right to become a woman, Okay. And then they give this guy a sex change. Well, I'm sure they were doing some brainwashing on him. I'm sure they beat the shit out of him and did every sort of fucking torture technique, waterboarding, etc., mind control, electroshock therapy, whatever the fuck they want because they own this dude like a fucking dog in a fucking kennel now. Okay? You got to realize these things. No, These people aren't innocent. Now take a look at the fucking shooting Bigfoot mockumentary. Okay, there's three storylines going on simultaneously in this film. If you've happened to watch it, you little fuckers who are so quick to make comments about Rick Dyer but really don't know the backstory, really don't know the, uh, the side info, and, 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 and are not filled in completely on the story, okay? You got two fucking country bumpkins out there fucking feeding Bigfoot mackerel and fucking playing... Whoever knows what kind of fucking music I haven't watched it for a year or two to this thing and they're they're just being made fun of. Then you got the Tom Biscardi angle where they're making fun of his ass and and then the third plot line they're trying to make fun of Rick Dyer until he shoots the fucking thing and then there's really no denying it except there's all this slander coming out against the man and there's all this different shit and admittedly so. I mean maybe he's being uh, encouraged to do these hoaxes by the government, because they know, yeah, he did shoot one. And they know, yeah, he's coming out. And yeah, we got it on tape. And wow, we really, the cat is really out of the fucking bag on this. Time to do some fucking cleaning up and release some disinformation and some misinformation about it. That's how it works, people. Are you, are you members of the Real Truth Movement? Do you know anything about government corruption? Do you know about 9-11? Do you know about government-sponsored terror? Do you know about the atrocities and the criminality within your federal government? Probably not. If you're out there just pointing the finger at Rick Dyer, the, the guy's nothing. He's just, he's, I mean, he shot the Bigfoot, sorry. But I'm saying, they're making a fucking big mess of this shit. I, he's being encouraged to, to keep going out there and become this public figure. Hello? Why do you think they got all the TV shows about Sasquatch all of a sudden? I've been doing research about Sasquatch since I got my computer for Christmas in 2007. And I've been looking up Bigfoot Sasquatch, and I've been doing searches all about it. It's been a it's been an interest of an object, you know, a, a, an area of my interest for for years. Okay, and all of a sudden it's on TV, and now it's in the mainstream, and now blah blah blah, and everybody's got this fucking opinion about fucking Sasquatch, and there's so much disinformation, and there's so much misinformation. You can't tell your fucking asshole from your elbow, and you're trying to feed yourself. You're eating shit. You stupid fucks, you're eating the shit that they're fucking serving you, and you fucking think that it's sustenance, and you think you're even putting it in the right fucking place. Your mind's not right. You don't have the information uh, available to you to make an informed decision about this. You just don't. I see guys like Snow Walker Prime, I fucking hate this channel. He's out there just slandering any, I mean, you bring up the name Rick Dyer, which I'm going to put in the title of this video, and I'll probably get mad fucking uh, uh, views just because of that, but it's going to be mostly people coming here to just look to slander the guy and, and jump on the bandwagon and hearty har, har, ha ha, yeah, we know it's not real, ha ha ha. Fucking idiots. Bigfoot is so fucking real. Just like everything else in life that people witness. Ghosts, UFOs, the fucking other side, heaven, God, anything. There's some real truth to this, okay? Including the shooting of a Bigfoot on September 6, 2012 by Rick Dyer. Now, he tells how, like I said... He's got investors. He's got people in Las Vegas. He's got backers. He's got people that you don't know. Just like David Paulides has people that you don't know. 
that are funding him. Does it occur to you? Do you realize? The fuck is wrong with your brains, people? I'm asking you in all sincerity. I'm sick of the stupidity. I'm sick of the ignorance of the facts. I'm just sick of it. I mean, what does a Bigfoot look like to you? Does it look like a guy in a suit, maybe? Kind of? A little bit? Huh? Yeah, I think it does. Now, that makes it a little harder to figure out what's real and what's not real. But when, like I said, you temper the evidence, you temper that fact of the September 6th shooting with the camper video, with the story, with everyone's testimony of going to Walmart, sticking ribs to a tree. I mean, that, that video is so vivid. The camper video. Seek it out right after you, you watch this video and look it up. That's a real Sasquatch, man. You can tell the cameraman who is Rick Dyer, unfortunately, but most people don't know that when they're watching the video. The cameraman is scared shitless. The Bigfoot turns over and he fucking turns the camera down. Oh, fucking. He's scared. He's sitting in that tent 10 feet. And when he reiterates the story in that interview on the Jack Anderson, Jeff Barnes channel, he says, man, I couldn't freaking move a muscle. I woke up, I look out the tent, and I, I hear it, and I see this thing eating the ribs. He's fucking stunned, as you would be. If this had happened to you, put yourself in those shoes. Fucking idiots. Just, you know, I'm, I, I, I've made my point here, and sorry to fucking belittle the people who really don't have uh, an expanded consciousness enough to take the facts into consideration, but it's, it's fucking sad. Imagine these people on your jury, and you're innocent, and they're, they, already, they already think you're innocent, you're, you're, you're guilty, and they're ready to fucking slam the gavel uh, on you and your fucking, and, and on you, and they're, they're, they're influencing these opinions of, of the masses. They're getting people to just, oh, Rick Dyer hoaxer, Rick Dyer hoaxer, and I try to explain all the time in comments, look, dude, the camper video is real. We've got the footage on the shooting Bigfoot documentary. I know Rick Dyer's an admitted hoaxer. But the admitted hoaxes are not the camper video. It is not the shooting of the real Sasquatch on September 6, 2012. The hoaxes are the fucking fakes that he's driving around after the fact. And like I said, he can't even talk about the fact that he's probably been approached by the Department of the Interior and these two guys, the big biker... And the regular sized guy dressed all nice in a suit and tie. You can't talk about that. He's been threatened. He's got a wife and kids. You know? Do, 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 you, do you get it? People got to make a fucking living in this world. And now the guy's so committed and he's wrapped up because he really did experience this and this really happened to him. So he's, he, he's really wanting to, to stay in this field. And they're probably encouraging him. Whoever it is that he's in contact with, yeah, do a hoax. Do a hoax. What if he shoots another one? What if he brings a body right to fucking CNN headquarters and lays it out? What are you going to say? They wouldn't show it. CNN fucking made a mockery of it and, and showed a fucking Bigfoot, you know, fucking suit with the tongue hanging out, which was not even uh, any, any likeness to the original photos that they released back in like 2008 when they supposedly found this thing in big in georgia and i don't even know if this was real like i said this is just how the story begins okay you just need to keep these things in consideration rick dyer really did shoot a bigfoot on september 6 2012 i know he's doing hoaxes i know he's driving a fake body around but look at the camper video look at the shooting Bigfoot documentary. I mean, watch it. It's amusing. The, t the Tom Biscardi parts when he wrecks the truck and some of the, the fucking... He's a terrible tipper in his, his uh, attitude and the way he treats other people and the things that come out of the guy's mouth. I mean, I'm busting a fucking gut watching this. Tom Biscardi is a complete fucking fool. But you know what? There's a correlation between Tom Biscardi and Rick Dyer. Tom Biscardi was the one that helped him get on CNN in the first place. They have a relationship in the, going back years that you don't know about. And I, I believe, I don't know if Rick Dyer talks about it in the Shooting Bigfoot documentary or where I've heard it along my travels researching these things, okay? But they've parted ways for a reason. It's up to you to figure out why that was. And it's up to you to determine, is the camper video real? And is the 
sh the picture and the shooting of the Sasquatch in the Shooting Bigfoot documentary real or not? Because I 100% believe in my mind, in my heart, that they are. And it baffles me to no end that people can't differentiate those two pieces of evidence with this name, Rick Dyer. It's just like the name Conspiracy Theorist. It's just a label to stick on somebody to dis to dismiss them and not investigate them. Unfortunately, it's the man's name. So it's really hard to talk about him without getting the idea of discredited information. But there's a lot of credibility when you look at the tangible evidence. The, the videos are... They say the picture's worth a thousand words. You know, just take a fucking look at the camper video. Take a look at the Shooting Bigfoot documentary before you go judging. I know we did some hoaxes, but if you can't figure this shit out and you can't figure out what's going on here, people, I can't help you any further. I've explained it to you. I've put the paradigm into your mind. Rewatch this video three or four times because I'm sick of repeating myself. You have a wonderful 2016 and a future beyond that, and I will be too. Bye-bye. <laughs>